Guys, our friends at Geology are celebrating their five-year anniversary, and they're doing it with their biggest offer ever. Geology is a 24-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company that creates simple and effective skin care and hair care routines customized just for you. All of their products are made with scientifically proven ingredients trusted by dermatologists and cosmetic chemists. I have been pairing the Deep Jasmine and Clove Hanna Super Clean Body Wash with the natural deodorant in the same scent, and I smell amazing. I've gotten a lot of compliments, and I'll tell you what, it's been simple. You take a 30-second diagnostics quiz, and their team of dermatologists will design a personalized routine that is shipped directly to your door. Right now, for a limited time, they are hooking you up with an absolute insane offer. Use my code CHAIL70 or scan the QR code on the screen, and they will give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can get 30% on the add-on products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you will ever see. Get it before it's gone. Head to geology.com to level up your hygiene routine or just click on the link below. Max Holloway is the number one fighter on Earth when Volkanovski isn't there. It's just the truth. Volkanovski is one decision away from Max being the number one fighter in the world again. I mean, Volkanovski is flirting with the idea of going to 155 pounds, and I do believe the next time he goes, this is just chill, believe him, but I do believe the next time he goes, he's staying. I don't think he's coming back home. So I just share with you, I mean, this is how good Max is. This is not without embellishment. Of the six billion men on Earth, they only found one that can beat him. And he's going to go in there with Zombie, who was half-retired. And the odds makers over at DraftKings didn't give Zombie a chance, and neither did I. And it wasn't to kick Zombie. There's just a time when other guys are in their prime, and, and you're on your way out. It's just a reality. And this was the situation. Now they're going to put him into a five-round main event. I don't feel he can follow the golden rule for three rounds. I don't feel, last week, that Zombie can follow the golden rule and protect yourself at all times for three rounds. And they're going to put him into a five-round atmosphere. But this was the situation. Okay, great. It's very hard to be that kind of a favorite. Because now you don't get anything out of it. Now you can only lose. To be that kind of a favorite, you think that that's a cool thing? Guys much prefer to be the dog. Like, they want people to believe in them and they want a confidence out there. Sure, they do. But to be that kind of a favorite, if I go out and smoke this guy, but I was supposed to smoke him, I don't get any bounce for it. All I did is what I was supposed to do. It's one of these weird situations. Then you tie in the catastrophic nature of Max's home state of Hawaii. He's at a press conference two days before the fight. He breaks down in tears. This is the baddest dude in the world. This is the guy that they've put train killers in there to try to hurt him. They can't do it, but this hurt him. He's carrying this with him. He has a tremendous stress, and we don't even know what's behind the scenes. I can only imagine whether Max knew people, had people, had family, had located him, had located him, helping him rebuild. Like, I mean, I can only imagine what was really going on. And he's got to walk out there, and he's got to deal with the guy who earned the moniker of zombie because you can't hurt him. And sure enough, we're still calling him the zombie because it's very hard to hurt him. And I bring this to you because what do you do in that situation? If you have a guy who, according to the odds makers, according to old Chael P over here, Bad Guy Inc., should not have even been booked against you, but should have been booked against somebody else. If you have a guy like that, what do you do? Do you go show off? Do you go and play with the guy? Do you go and showcase? You ever hear that word? You never hear that word from me. Like, you got to be a different level of scumbag to ever say I'm going to go showcase my skills. but. There's scumbags out there, and you do hear that word. Is that what you do in that situation if you're Max? Or do you bring your absolute best and put him down if you can? That's the answer. That's the honorable thing to do. That's where respect is at. And Max did find himself in a fight. I mean, Max found himself in a fight that was as hard as any fight that Max has had in a meaningful period of time. I mean, Zombie went out there, and he did what he was hired to do. He did what he was expected to do, and Max delivered as well. It was just, it was one of these great moments. And I don't take a pleasure in the fact that Zombie got knocked out. You guys haven't seen a lot of knockouts. 
If I was just asking you the last month, you watch all the shows, you go, yeah, I watched one championship, and I watched Bellator, I watched UFC, and there was eight knockouts, Chael. What are you talking about? It's like, eh, no, there wasn't. As a matter of fact, I think that was the only one. I'm not talking about a guy goes down and we stop the fight or the announcers yell it was a knockout. I'm talking about when a guy is unconscious. That's a knockout. And it really was a special moment, and that's the way that it was supposed to end. I had a coach when I was growing up named Roy Pittman, and Roy Pittman would show up to every single tournament and match with a towel over his shoulder. And people didn't know why he had the towel. He never used it. I mean, they like go have a snack and they use the towel. To clean. He never used the towel. The towel was just there. And it turned out that the towel was if one of his athletes was ever trying to make the opponent look bad, he would stop the match and his athlete would lose. The coach stops the match. You lose, right? Throwing a towel in a wrestling match is no different than throwing the towel in an MMA fight. You lose. And he would only use that towel if his athlete was superior to the opponent and tried to make them look bad. And he had to use the towel twice in his 53-year career. And I, I bring it to you because that's how I was brought up. That's how I was trained. You don't make the guy look bad. If you can get him out of there, you get him out of there. You don't carry him. You're not doing a guy a favor by carrying him. And nobody ever does that, by the way, not fully and intentionally. They don't just help somebody through a match. They will go out and they will make them look a fool while they're showing their speed and their skills and their new techniques. And look at this roundhouse that I've never tried anywhere, but I saw it on TV one time and it sure looked cool. I mean, it's, it's one of these things. And that's just not what Max did. It's not what Zombie did. They, those guys went out and fought. Max put him down and Max had to deal with that. You saw that absolute relief from Max, right? When you saw Max jumping into the crowd, you're seeing a relief. Because you're seeing all that pressure, all that stuff that he brought with him, all that stuff from his home state. He's got being a huge favorite, being in the main event, being in a different country. You have a relief. Fighters often tell you, I'm never fighting my opponent. My hardest opponent is with myself. But they don't elaborate on that. If they were to elaborate, they would tell you, I get in my own way. I will beat myself. I will find a way out. I will find a way, regardless of who's better, to lose this fight just to have conclusion to the fight because it's so damn stressful and I can't take it anymore. Max doesn't do that. Max is amongst your great competitors. But when you saw that celebration, he wasn't celebrating knocking Zombie out. He wasn't celebrating retiring Zombie. It was none of those things. It was an absolute personal battle that he had with himself. And he finally had closure and relief. And that's when you saw that exhale. It's not being a bad sport. There, there's something in our sport when you over-celebrate when a guy is unconscious. There's a reason they won't do the interview when the guy is unconscious. Those mistakes have been made before, and you're just trying to show a sportsmanship. And Max was just showing you a relief, and he had the right to feel that way.